Let me start this video with a quote from Marvin Minsky. What magical trick makes us intelligent? The trick is that there is no trick. The power of intelligence stems from our vast diversity, not from any single perfect principle. The thing is that when we are confronted with the complexities of real world tasks, solving them often requires multiple steps. The rapid progress of all of these LLMs has yielded remarkable achievements in complex task solving, but it is worth noting that the success of these LLMs is heavily reliant on human input to guide the conversation in the right direction. This can be challenging, time consuming and sometimes just it doesn't work. That is where this project OWL tries to help out. It is an open source project. It explores the potential of autonomous cooperation among communicative AI agents, enabling them to complete complex tasks with minimal human intervention. This project aims to address the challenges of relying on human input to guide conversations in the right direction. OWL proposes a new cooperative agent framework called Role Playing, which uses inception prompting to automate cooperation between communicative agents. This approach requires only a preliminary idea from humans to guide conversation toward complex task solving. The OWL project has generated several datasets including AI Society, Code, Math, Science and Misalignment, which offers valuable resources for investigating conversational language models. The project's finding demonstrate that solutions derived from the role-playing framework outperform those generated by other models such as GPT 3.5 Turbo. In this video, we are going to install this OWL locally and then we will also see some of the examples as how it works. Let me also quickly show you the architecture or how exactly the role playing works in this framework. So the role playing setup starts with the human user having an idea they want to implement. For example, maybe developing a trading box, a bot for the stock market. The roles involved in this task would be an AI assistant agent who is a Python programmer and an AI user agent who is a stock trader. The task is made more specific using their task specifier agent leading to a well-defined task for the assistant to solve. Both AI user and AI assistant are provided with the specified task after which they collaboratively communicate by chatting with each other in an instruction following fashion to solve the specific task as you can see on your screen. And there are a lot of other good information which you can find out on their GitHub repo and I will drop the link to it in video's description. So please do check th that out. So let's try to get it installed. Before I do that, let me also give a huge shout out to our very good friends at iGentPot who are sponsoring this video. iGentPot lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge pod across platforms like Discord, Slack and others. It is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support and I will also drop the link to their website in video's description. This is my Ubuntu system where I am going to show you how to get it installed. I mean the OWL. First up, let's quickly create a virtual environment with Conda. You can install Python virtual environment or whatever you like, doesn't really matter. And then I'm going to git clone the repo of OWL and I will drop the link to it in video's description. Next up, let me quickly install all the requirements from the root of the repo. This is going to take a minute or under a minute, so let's wait. And now everything is installed. Next up, we need to install the Playwright, which is a web automation library. And for that first, because I'm using Ubuntu, so I just needed to install these libraries first, which takes few seconds to get installed. And then we will install the Playwright. Next up, let me quickly check if I have this library installed. Nope, so it is installing this one too. And now we can install the playwright with simple pip command and that is done. Next up we need to 
instantiate the installation of this playwright by just running this playwright installed it downloads all the headless browsers and stuff so let's wait for it and just because this is my new installation of uh, vm so it also needs these um, libraries so dependencies so i'm just going to install okay so it is asking me so i'll just use this command then this is much better because the playwright xe is not installed so let me quickly install this i just need to post sorry my typo so i'm just going to install it properly sudo is better let's wait for it and now everything works as expected let me clear the screen next up we need to set the environment variable now with OWL, it is recommended to use OpenAI's models, which is, which is a hosted model. You can use other models too if you like, but it is highly recommended to go with them. Because to be honest, these models work really good with the agentic software. So for that, we would just need to either create this file or set up this file. So you can check if there is an OWL directory there and then check if there is a .env file. If not, simply just create a new .env file here and then you can set your openai's api key in that uh, directory now that is a paid option so you would need to go to platform.openai.com grab your openai's api key and set it in that environment file so let me do, do that and clear the screen and i have opened that .env file in my vs code so you see that I just went to this .env underscore template file, which they have already provided in their repo. I copied all the content and then I pasted it here. Here you would need to set all of these API keys, which you can grab from their respective websites. The links are given. So let me fill in these API keys and I will save the file and take it to the terminal. And then from the root of the repo, you can run this simple example with simple run.py command. And as soon as I run it, you will see that agents will start collaborating and then they will be totally autonomous. So you see there is a logging which is being done. I'll just cancel it. It has launched a browser window with Playwright. And then there are a few API calls which are being made. And then you see that it is working along then they are accessing different um, uh, sort of tools. You can ignore this one because I haven't set my Google's API key or search engine. But I've, if I take you up, you can already see what has happened. So let me quickly take you there. So these are few of the API keys which I haven't set. So that is why there are bad requests. But if you look here, what has happened here that because I have set my OpenAI's API key plus Firecrawl, so it was able to access that tool. And there you go. So it is talking among the, themselves. It is checking out the different um, sources of the information. And then it is talking with the other agent. They are collaborating. And then they are working on a task. So it's a multi-agent collaboration being done. As you can see here, the next agent is speaking that it seems that the search for University of Leicester paper titled this. And this is what we, we they have put it in their example. And then it is recommend uh, doing the recommendation that to proceed, I recommend trying a different approach. And then it is calling open as API key because that key is there. So it was able to do that. And just because I don't have the Google search engine. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Sorry. I don't have the Google search engine and the API. That is why it was failed to go there. But it already has given us a glimpse of its capability. Similarly, you can also do the uh, Gaia role play on it. So Gaia is, uh, stands for Generative Agents for Interactive Applications. It is a research oriented benchmark designed to evaluate AI agents in interactive, conversational and role playing environment. And Specifically, it sets up role-playing scenarios where AI-powered agents adopt unique personas and participate in complex social interactions. So let me give you a glimpse of how exactly it works. And as soon as I have run it, it has opened this browser. So I'll just keep it open and you see that behind the scene it is. So I'll just quickly take you up. 
so it has done it has downloaded that gaia benchmark and then after downloading it it has uh, it is running the simulation on top of it where it, the agents are doing the collaboration they are talking among themselves generated uh, the data around role playing and you see that this is a whole role play which is going on and you will see some bad requests because as i said i haven't set my google search engine and uh, that api key there's so much a person can pay for the api keys anyway so there you go so you see it is going through mul multiple agents are talking they are collaborating so if you really think about it this is just a simulation and as i say that we are living in simulation and you can build your own simulation and then you can very easily tailor it to your own use case to build a multi agent collaboration because this is autonomous and you see it is just going around talking and then reevaluating what they have done this is where it is recalculating so i really like the project in a sense that it really makes it quite autonomous it's a very very early days i think they just released it few hours ago so we are working at the bleeding edge i'm more than sure this is going to evolve a lot because just within few hours there have been more than couple of thousand stars already on the repo so it seems like quite promising and then um, because i haven't created this directory and then um, you can ignore this but this looks really cool to me so look um, really good promising project i would say check out its repo uh, i'm quite impressed by it let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching